Hello, hello, and welcome to DOTV Podcast. We are the Defenders of the Veil. It's Friday night, and that means it's time for Dragon Lance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen. I am DM Ron. I will be your dungeon master this evening. Joining me today, as per usual, we've got Ricky. Hello, DM Daddy. Good morning. Lewis is here. Oh, hello, hello, hello. David is with us tonight. What's up, peeps? And uh, Rib Rob is going to be joining us shortly as Peter. He's not here at this specific moment, but he will be. He'll be coming in soon. I've that? heard there's a mountain he has to go on. I, I mean, you know, there, there's obviously repercussions for being late. No. <laughs> oh. oh we're feed, feeding Gildo. We're feeding Gildo. All right. Awesome. He, he loves steak. Or she. I'm not sure if Gildo's male or female. Kinda. Kind of a little ambiguous there. Oh, oh. We bred Gildo. What does Gildo look like now? Who? That's... That's a look. Alright. <laughs> How is everyone doing tonight? Players? I'm doing good. <laughs> doing well, doing well. Good, good. Ricky? Ricky's doing... Ricky's doing... I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, somebody's a slacker today. Hmm. Uh, we're playing Strixhaven? False. We're playing Dragonlands. Well, I understand that. I was just looking at the uh, Twitch. Oh, I forgot to update that. Yeah. He's a slacker. That's okay. Well, while I update that, um, can someone tell us what happened last time on Dragonlands? I have to remember which number this is. Uh, we found sea elves. We went to a sea elf temple and did some stuff, and things happened. Okay, I need a little more time than that. Nowhere near as much preferred shenanigans than we got. Mm. And that's one. Met some sea elves. We did some religious sea elf uh, rituals. Poppycock. Uh, like coming, of, coming of age form or whatever, and uh, discovered that one of their gods is the same as one of the gods that is associated with Kiri Joloth a bit. <clears throat> we managed it's to navigate poorly the translated. We managed to navigate the temple without getting into a fight because we're not miscreants. Uh, and then we found out the rest of their go. people were held hostage at Eye on the Map. Yep, Eye Map. Mm. And we're going through E to get to I. I think we're going to go E, I, E, I, and then we'll go O sometime later. I hate you guys on your map punch. Do you, though? Well, I figured if we oh, do right. then I, then E, we would just die, so. Hmm. 
Was that so bad that I just shut everybody up? Sorry, I'm typing. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know. Still updating the stream. I'll have to update the title, the video later. But yeah, no, that is a pretty good uh, explanation of things that happened. Hello, Rib Rob, how are you doing today? Hey, y'all. I'm doing all right. Welcome. Y'all are. Okay, it doesn't want to add the tag. That's fine. It doesn't need the tag. Oops, didn't pump. Why does it keep yelling at me? Okay. <clears throat> That's what. I need to put the. Huh, I thought the art was taller. That's okay. All right, so yes, you guys are currently at Blue Phoenix Shrine, which is uh, located right about here, where the party marker is on the map. You are, uh, you have notes from Dalimar about um, locations marked D and E on your map as potentially being of or near the same age as the city of lost uh the city of lost names and he's hoping that whatever information you can glean about these sites determine what what kind of sites they are that might help him determine the location of the city you do have one other location on your map location i which has been noted to be a potential dragon army camp where uh, it is where prisoners are being held, sea elf prisoners that came with uh, Ishvern and the other uh, Dimernesti elves to the Blue Phoenix Shrine. So you have a few options. Yeah, those elves, I don't mind too much. You know, they're not pompous uh, arse hats. Jerks. So, you know. Fucking elves. Oh, yeah. Let's get the round tokens out. Gildo blends in with the map now. <laughs> That is an evolution. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so location E is a spot uh, noted as Wake and Wrath, which, uh, Ricky, you would know that to be um, Elvin for, hang on. Elvin for House of Silence in Elvish. Um, I'll translate that. So, he, uh, as f from what Dalimar told you guys, um, Wakenrath is a magical tower that rises from the wasteland. And that's all the Sylvanesti writings say about it. Um, the other location that is marked there, the, um, <coughs> let me see, let me just double check what Dalimar wants with that one. Yeah, again, Delmar just wants to know how it's related. And hopefully he'll be able to compare notes. You know, going from sea, I mean, yeah, we want to save the prisoners, but I mean, we're going right through E. 
Yeah, but he was nothing but the place we're supposed to meet the other guy, like. Well, again, if you have to double, you know, just because you go to one place once, you know, I mean. If, but, if, I mean, the reason to go there was specifically only to meet the other guy. No, that's, it's also a location where he wants you to, to you know, check out that location. Hmm. Do we think there's any time sensitivity to the prince prisoners? Uh, the Ricky prisoners? thinks there is. Well, and really, I mean, if you're a prisoner, do you want to be in there another three or four days? Or would you rather, you know, I understand that thinking of it, but I'm like, oh, man, we're just walking right by that. But yeah, I understand the urgency of getting prisoners of war out of uh, their situation. I <laughs> I'm now split. I don't know. <laughs> Kroll is against anything that isn't getting the prisoners immediately. I can go either way. <clears throat> I'm voting we go get the prisoners. All right. Okay. All right, we can just walk in E going. <laughs> A lot of Dibs' <laughs> argument involves in get, the phrase get to murder. Yeah, and you get have to, to murder. <laughs> you have to keep in mind, too, that. Not that, free the prisoners, get to murder. <laughs> You know, not everything is like you know exactly a, a straight shot to the the map is just kind of an abstract of what you're. Yeah, that reminds me. Let me let me give you guys a little more. Uh, I haven't been very descriptive with, you know, with your traveling just because with the landscape. So it's it's very it it's very barren. However, there's you know it's very lots of cliffs, lots of like crevices ravines that are mostly dried up but sometimes there'll be a little bit of water um the landscape is s s covered sporadically with boulders of various shapes and sizes and um all sorts of different debris so like it would be like akin to ruins, but it's not like full buildings. It's like maybe a section of a wall or part of a statue or something like that. But you find bits and pieces just scattered all throughout the landscape here and there, just everywhere. But you said bits of walls and architecture? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like, at, at first it seems like it's like kind of like, oh, well, we should probably take note of that and maybe come back and get that. But then, as you know, the further and more you progress, like, it's just, it's, it's everywhere. There's bits and pieces. There's like, like partial broken archways and things, and just all sorts of stuff. You see, like, half columns and. But lots of death and decay, too. You see lots oh. of uh, remains of different beasts, skeletal remains, stuff that either died in the desert heat or um, got violently caught up in the wash and drowned or what have you. But it, it's it's a very desolate landscape. Lots of room for mute remodels here. And part of our blessing means we get to travel faster in this hellscape, right? Right. That means uh, you get to ignore the overland difficult terrain. Rad. So yes. It's, <laughs> oh, instead of only being able to move two hexes per day, you can now move four at a normal pace. We're hauling ass. What, 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 what? We're doing what? We're hauling ass some more. 
I mean, I uh, understood what you said, but man, somebody sure remembers being, you know, really <laughs> give it a good talking to about hauling ass before. Yeah, but that was overworking it. We're going to move three squares today. You're so, still not going that. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go fast. We're going to go slower than normal. <laughs> it's fantastic logic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No. We're going to go at a normal pace. Um, okay. How, did Peter read anything about, like, any historical activity in the region? Just, like, in the past? Or mm. when he was doing research? So, no, there's not a lot known about the region prior to the cataclysm when the landscape would have okay. been different. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you know, like basically what I described, that there's ruins scattered everywhere or debris, what have you. Um, it's pretty desolate. You're aware of the wash and the tidal effects that create it. Um, mm hmm and you know you also know that the waste is is home to you know lots of various dangerous predators oh fine. i live there <laughs> yeah it's where crawl is from and, oh okay oh, so <laughs> crawl do you know anything about the the architecture that's here like do you know who might have left all this here it's a wonderful question ron <laughs> you can make a history check and you call them the wrong name it's, it's a wonderful bad. question dm daddy <laughs> yeah yeah make a make a history check i'm loading i'm loading I might know. <clears throat> so, you recognize, like, there's occasional bits of what is clearly elven architecture, but not a lot. It's mostly, you would have to guess, human. Hu uh, oh, human hell? make. Interesting, okay. Peter takes a mental note of that, and he's going to, whenever he sees architecture around, just like, you know, just broken, he's going to be looking for any kind of writing. Just, I kind of doubt I might find something, but I feel like he would be looking out for that. Okay. Instead of curiosity. Anytime Bannon sees a new building, he's going to run up to it and write on it. In some strange language, you don't even know what he's writing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> oh, look at this. This says something weird. Oh, no. Honestly, when I I initially heard you say, like, ride like a, a vehicle or, like, <laughs> pony or something. It's just like, what? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so... Um, you start heading north. Okay, so if we go fast pace, we will get in a, a thing of exhaustion. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you go at a fast pace, you can go... Let's see, this thing is weird. Um, well, it says 15... Didn't I already say we're moving three squares a day? Well, you can catch up with us later. I'll just... Yeah. Have a so, okay. Oh at, my God. at a normal 
wait, each one, each hex is uh, six miles. So we have you go 30. Uh, so you can go five. If you go at a fast pace, you can move five hexes without getting exhaustion. Um, you will have a penalty to your passive perception while traveling at fast speed. And a grumpy halfling. <laughs> well, I mean, we have that anyway. Yeah, why are you going to be grumpy about us being able to move without getting exhausted? Because it's risking it. I'm okay with four squares. I was just wanting to know the, uh, you know, what all we'll get if we did. So, yeah, I'm good with four. So that's just a normal pace and then no penalty to uh, perception. Perception, yeah. Okay. Um, everyone make a survival check, but I believe you get to make it at advantage. I believe this is in theory one of my better checks. Uh, you if guys with advantage, I did well. All have. Uh, it's a Yep. You're nice enough not to have changed your name on the thing, and then it comes up Brimble. I'm like, ah. Oh. Hmm. I know you did it on purpose. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys all have Habakkuk's Blessing, remember? Which gives you advantage on the, on the check. So, let's see. We've got 10, 18, 13, 17... That's uh, one, two, three. That's three successes. So well, that'll be enough. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you guys are are heading north when you realize that the wash is suddenly beginning to rise, and moving quickly, you're able to climb up and get out of danger. As water begins to fill the canyon. Um, everyone make a perception check, please. Perception. Nailed it. Good boy. <laughs> Is that with advantage too? No. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing good. You guys are doing great. 8, 10, 11, 12. Uh, if all 8 could have been a 9, it would have been perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? We're not gonna take it. No. <laughs> we ain't gonna take it. We're not gonna take it. Okay. We're also not passing checks today either. <laughs> so you guys climb, you get up out of harm's way. <clears throat> And let's see, I'm going to roll a 1d5. Yep, Nibs. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, Nibs. Oop, that's not what we need. Did you see a roll 1d5, all of us? No, that was just me. You wanted to roll 1d6? No, nope, because that's better than a 5. No, it's fine. Um, 
I can roll a D7. If you guys are like, you guys just climbed up. You're kind of catching your breath. And, you know, the canyon is filling. And, like, Nibs, you turn around just to see a large tentacle come out of the water and slam down. Let's see if it slams down on you or around you. Um, no, it slams down in front of you. But this giant octopus breaches the surface of the water and everyone's going to need to roll initiative. Dang it, Squidward. Hentai stream. Stand back. There's an octopus. So the octopus is here. It's slung at Nibs and then hit in front of him, which would be right there. <laughs> Sounds accurate. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Nibs got 13. <laughs> Gently caresses Bannon. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Initiative. Um, well, he said in front of Nibs. So it, Nibs is facing north. So hit up here. Okay. That's fair. All I know is we're going to rock it tonight. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> we're killing it with this. Oh, you guys oh, are... Except for Crawl did his thing, but didn't have his token selected so it didn't actually show on the initiative but yep. but at least he beat the octopus you got 18.2 by the hair on his chinny chin chin all right we will add you oh, not like that Sort that. Um, let's see. All right, crawl. You are first. What do you do? So can I see this octopus? Yeah, it's it's above the water now. Well, then I'm going to shoot it in the face. It can't really reach that far, but it's more for the story. <laughs> Shooting it. Oh, you added automatic damage, so I don't get to click my button anymore, I see. I didn't add it to yours. I'm just going to blame you. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's why I do that. Well, I, uh... um, yeah. So you get you get two? We're level five. Awesome. You hit it both times. Yeah, we're level six. Fighter gets two attacks by now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then I point and go, guys, there's a giant sushimi. <laughs> I noticed. All right. Anything else, Crawl? No, thank you. All right. So this thing is actually, it can move. It can pull itself out onto... And then with Bannon right there, it's going to try to to attack with its tentacles. An 18 to hit Bannon. Miss. All right, so it's there. It misses. It only gets the one attack. Oh, come on, um, it has eight tentacles. <laughs> yeah, it should. It should, right? Um. After that one's turn. I mean, Hydras get one attack for. Oh no, they get one reaction for every head they have. Another octopus comes out of the water. 
Oh shit. Crow will oh no, they're point. hunting in packs. Crow will again point and go, <laughs> Sushimi! Oh, did I? I pushed the wrong one. Oh, that's actually supposed to be a Kraken. My bad, guys. That's from 60. Okay. That's fine. Ricky, you should have a spite of Kraken. Krakens are fun. They can pick up players and throw them. All right. This octopus of... swims to right here. That's 50 feet. And then it can actually move. Uh, oh, wow. Actually, it doesn't have to. Let's keep it there. Because it has decent enough reach. So that one's going to try to attack with its tentacles also. And get a 10 on Bannon for the tentacle attack. Okay. Sorry, that was kind of loud. All right. After that octopus, it is Peter's turn. Uh, mage armor. <clears> then <throat> that's going to be my turn. I don't know why I did it twice. It's okay. Give yourself back the spell slot. Nibs, what are you going to do? Nibs is going to back up. Okay. And Eldritch Blast that one. Alright, the one that's hurt? Yes. Okay. AC 12. Or 4. Let me just double check something here. Da, 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 I da, doubt da, that's da, gonna da, hit. No, it does hit. It doesn't have any bonus. Its AC is eleven. <laughs> I'm gonna push it ten feet. Really? AC ten's gonna miss. Okay. And it did. Well, there goes focus fire. No, I want them to go back out to sea and leave us alone. <laughs> Anything else, Nibs? No, I'm done. Well, since... Yeah. Oops, never mind. Oh. Oh. I refreshed the page and now the music is gone. Uh, it'll come back. Why did that move? Why did everything move? Your nibs. Do I, oh, I've got nibs on here twice. That's why. I'm like, why the heck is nibs? That's because I get to go over and over again. <laughs> it's only fair. Okay. I mean, clearly. I don't know how you got on there twice, but all right. Uh, this one comes out and we'll start swimming. Yep. I want to get there, and that one's going to try. Ooh. I think that one can reach. If not, it can. Wait, let's kill him. It'll move one more square. And it's gonna try to get a tentacle around, crawl. Let's say 12 to hit. Um, I ain't put off that. Alright, that's it for that one, which brings it to. Bannon. Yeah, I'll send him just like that. I'm going to... <laughs> and... charge up, uh... Cassie, and we're gonna... 
head for the uh, shore. And I am going to uh, use my Salomnic Squire. I have advantage of 16. 16 will hit. For uh, 13 damage. Okay. And my next attack. And a 12. A 12 will hit. Okay, for 10. Not bad. You stab at this thing with the pointy end of your hoop pack. And... Three of them. I am going to do the attack of the killer calamari. I hate and love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's not going to do me any good for that. I'm done. Okay. Uh, so, hold on. Uh, shoot. Um. All right. Uh, we gotta go back. Oh. We're going back, so it's Nibs's turn again. No, not quite. Uh, there's turns that got skipped. Yeah, there's more people that he was bringing in that this he one failed is... to do. I failed to do quickly enough. This one's going to try and get Levna. <laughs> That's a 10. Uh, these octopus, octopi, whatever, um, are doing terrible at... Be right back. All right. That was you, and then after that, I might as well bring this one up too because this one's going to be right after. All right, so this one gets to move. Somebody oh, tell them shit. that the. Uh, that we're with Hockeycock. That one's going to try to attack Bannon. That's a 13. So that's no good. And this last one here. That's his, oh wait, I have to move that. And then... <clears throat> right there. This one is, uh, well this one's going after Bannon. That's a 16 to hit. I stepped away. Who are they attacking? Uh, Bannon. Yeah, missed. Okay. So that's it for that. And then, Kroll, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to attack the one that's melee with Bannon. Am I in melee range of these two? Um, one of them, in, one of them has been able to strike at you. Yes. You're in melee with them, but you're not. Oh my God, Ron. How many tokens are you putting out there? So I'm gonna shoot the one right in front of Ron. Which, which, which one's that? 
All of them. <laughs> All of them are in front of you. <laughs> Did both of those hit? Um, yes. Which one was that? The one right in front of Bannon. Oh, okay. Those are some good hits. Yeah, your arrows strike All true. Right. And then I'm gonna action surge. Do those? Does that guy die? Or is he still alive? It's still up. Did that one get him? Uh, yes. And then yeah. I want to do my last shot at the one that's injured straight south of him. Okay. Action surge. You do hit that one as well. And then I am going to risk moving right by Nibs over here. A surge okay. of actions. Does an 18 hit? Yeah, of course. Move back. Is it an auto grapple? What kind of BS monsters? <laughs> it has Sentinel. Uh, it doesn't have Sentinel, but... Um... Damage is 11. Bludgeoning damage. If the target is a creature, it is grappled. Uh, until this grapple ends, the target is restrained, and the octopus can't use its tentacles on another target. So can you put a marker on which one's grappling him? Yeah, just a sec. So you were right... Oh, you were... One more. This one here, I'll put the red dot on that one that's gr got crawl grabbed right now. And did you take your 11 damage? I'm immune to calamari. <laughs> Ooh. We're going to be real tonight. And if only okay. I liked seafood. I actually love seafood. I love seafood too, but Kim hates it, and I don't get it to eat it very often. All right. Is that going to be your turn then, Crawl? Well, yeah, I'm restrained, and I've used my action. Okay. My movement. So this one here is almost... You have a bonus action. This one. It's so good. Why? What's okay. this? <clears throat> What's a giant circle? <clears throat> I don't know what that giant circle is. Um, a 12 to hit Bannon. Don't worry oh. about it. Okay. So that one is Ooh, trying to grab. And then, oh, that one is dead. Let me put you down. That removes you. So, Peter, it is your turn. All right. Uh, first I'm gonna measure over here to see if I can get these guys. You can at least get 4, 10, and 12. Or you can probably, or you can go that route too. Yeah. I'm gonna get those three with a little shatter. Okay. That's great. I'm going to get those three under. with a little spell I like to call Shatter. <laughs> uh, spell I like to call jazz radio. Wake Your Face. It's the poor man's fireball. Oh, I always yeah. wanted to be a radio DJ. I'm not going to lie. Well, that's good because you've got a face for radio. Right. <laughs> I have to go, guys. My you mom says I can't hang out with you guys that? anymore. <laughs> My mom said you guys Let's see, what is it? It's a con game. save. You kind of asked for yeah, that. Yeah, DC 16. I did not ask for Vicious Mockery, sir. And what's the damage? 16 Thunder. Self-esteem? That's what's right on there. In, in the Thunder. Okay, it looks like uh, one saved and two did not. But the one that saved was already damaged. That worked out good. Okay. 
Hell yeah. So there's a ringing crash. I'm not sure exactly how you want to describe it. It would be, uh, some, it would sound like thunder pretty much. Thunder! All right. Anything thunder. else, Peter? <laughs> uh, no, that's it. Okay, I imagine that song is uh holy shit. I that imagine that's holy shit. Peter's um uh, theme song. <laughs> no, I'm not casting fireball. Mm. But it has the same area effect as fireball, so I'm using the token. I'm cast casting hunger of Hadar. I thought you were, just, you were going to be fighting tentacles with tentacles. I don't have that spell, or I would. So, any creature that starts its turn in that area is going to take six cold damage. If they end their turn in that area, they make a deck save or take five acid damage. And I actually am fighting tentacles or tentacles. Because the acid damage comes from milky, otherworldly tentacles rubbing against them. Okay, well, I'm just Sounds gonna like me and Brom. Move that back so that I can see, so it's... Okay. That is my action. I'm not using bonus action, and I'm not moving. So I'm done. Okay. Goes to um... take six. Who was it? Hey, if you assault me yeah. with hentai, I assault you with humor. Oh boy! <clears throat> oh boy! All right, everyone. Um. <laughs> Take like a two second break or two like a minute break yeah. here. You gonna look up you gonna look up tentacle jokes because be careful on that Google search. No, no, no. But I Oh my god. And for yeah. our listeners, go ahead and go I'll be right uh, back everyone. Grab yourself a drink while he comes up with these jokes. So one day my wife texted me and asked me who was the actor that played Shaft. And I said, why don't you Google it? Or she asked me, who was the actor that played the character that said the bat he was a badass motherfucker? And I go, that was Samuel L. Jackson. The character was Shaft. Why? And she goes, well, why did... And I go, why didn't you Google it? And she goes, well, I Googled badass motherfucker and then hit image search. And, oh, my God, the stuff I saw. And I go, that's because you Googled ass fucking. <laughs> oh lord. Specifically, you googled mother ass fucking. That was terrible and also funny. Alright. I feel Thanks. safe in my position, so I'm gonna go grab the <laughs> while Ron figures out. Thanks how for this combat, Ron. I've been itching to shoot stuff. Uh, yeah. I think we made it kind of clear by you know. I don't know what happened. Us multiple protesting. I haven't hit protest level yet, but I definitely was like, I would like to shoot. That's some weird. Stuff. I don't know what the... Okay. So we turned on the ceiling fan for the kittens for the very first time. And the one was sitting on the dining room table when she, we did it, and she about jumped out of her skin. The the fan started moving. All right, <laughs> all right. We here here is your joke. The cleric hits you for minimum damage. It was a grazing mace. <laughs> How sweet a pound. <laughs> A grazing Okay. No. I need um 
real quick, does anyone know how like force movement works? Yeah, force you can't do it. Uh huh. Ron, are you just mad because I killed my character before you did? Or are you trying to catch up? What's going on? <laughs> Let's see. It'd be grapple. Moving. Oh, you <laughs> yeah, my compendium wants to go really slow. Um. Not the grappler. I don't know if this is it. If there's not the boat attack of opportunity, it's so fun. Let's see. When you, move, when you move, you can uh, drag or carry a grappled creature with you, but your speed's half. Okay, that's what it is. Wait, but hold on. But wait, there's more. Uh, moving to grappled creature, creatures, page 195 of, I'm assuming, the player's handbook. It might be the DMG. Uh, if I'm two sizes smaller than the creature, then it's not half. Um, you're a medium. medium. These are large. It's so. one size, a half speed. Yeah, these are large. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to do this. It's funny, Ron, is you. I Honestly, if my character dies, I'm not going to be mad. Although I don't think I'm near death yet. Because there's so many different Dragonlance character themes I want to play with that I can just be happy. All right. It pulls the the giant octopus uh, attempts to leave the area, dragging Kroll with it underneath. Oh shit! Question. Uh, well, he's not here. Let me look at. Look, oh, does it I'm, slow I'm, down? I'm just sat back down. Does it slow down his uh, movement? Yep, it's, it's difficult terrain. It's a quarter speed, sir. Area is difficult terrain. I don't mind if you try to kill me, Ron, but stop cheating. Right, <laughs> so that's where we were. Just out to get you, Ricky. He's just mad because I'm better at doing yes, my character. Yes, yes. Move to the center of the mass. So that's about it. Okay. So crawl. I'm gonna have to drag. Boo. <sighs> I'm off map. I'm yeah. dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna put you. You are you are underwater. Nah. Here, I'll put you here because he it would have technically be underwater. It would have dragged him over by it, so he'd be like okay, going with you. him. Okay. There's a difference between by it and underwater, sir. Bannon, oh, it's no. your turn. <laughs> I just salute as I salute. Oh, if I die, I'm coming I'm back as a CL. That's fine. If I die, I'm coming back as a CL. It's perfect. This is a perfect spot for that. Come back as a Shahaugen. <laughs> I don't want to get along with see how great. Is it 
15 foot reach for those guys? Oh shit, you know what? Um, yes. Okay, good. I'm still within four's reach. I forgot to roll initiative for Levna. See, look at this stacked against us. Lamia again. There's it. So I'll give her I'll give her a turn right after Bannon and then I'll give her she'll be able to take her next turn in order. So two takes ten? Uh two. Okay. Uh, that misses. That fumbles. Where's oh, my yeah. fumble? That fumbles. Oh, and because of just all the water and stuff, you didn't properly set your feet, so you slip and fall on your tender ass. I stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I stand up and I action serve. All right. Producing a surge of action. Maybe I could go Mountain Dwarf Berserker. 14 to hit for 11. And 26 to hit for 8. Okay. It's looking pretty rough. Does it look like it's drowning rough because of shenanigans? No. Okay. Uh... Okay. That one starts its turn in the the crap. Take six and like it. Oh, and you were gonna do love uh, love now. Oh yeah. So trying to uh, cheat again. <coughs> All right. So I love giving you a hard time, Ron. I appreciate you teaming this. Levna game. would be up here using her great sword. I would think she'd probably be one square to the left. Oh yeah. This is a yeah, and she would not step into the icky goo. Wow, I thought I appreciated you until I saw you blatantly cheating again, Ron. <laughs> Damn. But she did hit it. That's her attack. And now it's, uh, this thing's go. So now it's going to take the six. And it's going to try to get Levna. Uh, 14 to hit Levna. I don't think that will. No, her AC is 18. So she's good there. But this thing is still going to try to move away. Go on top of that one. Okay. Then it's that octopus's turn. Yes. Well, it hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't hit yet, and um, I know it hasn't. What's Tassie's AC? Oh, you asshole. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's a crit 25. Whoa. Why do you hate Tass, you jerk? I understand hating me, but Tass is a beautifully awesome animal. Well, um, that's 12, 31 bludgeoning damage. Maybe I can come back as a kinder barbarian. <laughs> that would be great. I 
I hate the way they did skills on 5e. There's no way to be like a renowned expert crafter or something like that. There's no way to learn, too. What you're good at at level 1, you're good at at level 20. And there's no advancement. And there's not a huge difference between being good at it at level 1 and 20. I mean, there's a little bit, but not much. Exactly. I hate the skills in 5e. My biggest complaint about 5e. Bannon, make a dexterity save. And unfortunately, you're using this against me, I have advantage to stay on my mount. That's true. Awesome. Good. You would think he had, would have the option to be good at it or not. Fourteen. <laughs> All right, so I'll let you decide if you jump off a Tassie or if you go with. Why not? I'll go with. Okay. Oh shit! Are we both making art? I'll make uh, Rimble's cousin. Benny can make Kroll's brother. No, I'm good. And it starts to pull you into the wash. No, it starts to pull Tass into the wash. Well, and yeah, and and Bannon, right mm -hmm. along with it. That is Bannon's choice, though. Well, um, right now, that's the only thing I have left of my brother. So. Yeah. If Brimble was still alive. Cassie would have went with the with the octopus with no problem. We cut. We take a cut scene and we go back to camping on the road, and you see Bremble oh snuggling up to Tass. Why Bayanum looks away from the distance, happy that his dog and his brother get along so well. This one actually <laughs> crawls up on land. Oh, it doesn't even have to go that far. Yep. Maybe we cut to Brimble oh, giving Tass a bath after a hard hard fight, getting visceral guts of dead I guess it does enemies off of. All right, so that one tries to get Peter. Listen, these scenes are too adorable. All right. <laughs> uh, twenty-two, Peter, for thirteen bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Yeah, I can't even shield that. <laughs> For how much it, bludgeoning? It appears Thir to that I, I'm the only one that killed their their octopus. Thirteen. How much? Um, I did a hefty amount of damage to an octopus. Yeah. yeah, but your octopus is still alive. No, I'm. I actually think I got the killing blow on the dead octopus, my friend. Or unless there's two of them. There are. Yeah, there's your octopus two. is still alive. There's three dead ones. Um. Right. No, there's two dead ones. There's one I that's about to be dead. Shatter. Where's my shield icon? I killed one with my bow because I split up my second attacks. Yeah, there's a dead one underneath number four. <clears throat> there's only two dead ones. Um, but yes, Peter, you are grappled. And Crawl, it is your turn. So as an action, you can try to escape or... You can attack it, you can do whatever you want. Doing a little flag icon for grappled. Oh, uh, here. Let's add the status. That's what I should have done in the first place. Ah, cool. Yeah, I'm 
Bannon is not grappled, but Tassie is. So I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. But Crawl, what would you like to do? How do I escape grapple? What's the check? Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Yeah, it's my choice versus their athletics, right? Yes. We should use acrobatics. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that looks really good. Let me make sure that this thing doesn't have anything stupid. Oh, this uh, surely does have something stupid. I've seen you being before. You're like quadruple <laughs> advantage. Okay. It's actually as elven accuracy as a feat. No, so it it got a 15 on its uh, athletics check. So you escape. I run. And then I use my uh, shenanigans. How far away do you run? 30 feet. You are in the water, so the swimming is difficult to rain. All right, put me back where I was before, Rock. Okay, you're here. And it tried to it tried to grab at you as you as you escape it, but it got an eight. Am I on dry land here? Yes. Well, you're on land. I wouldn't say it's dry. All right. Well, that's what. Anyway, I move there. And then, because I'm not done with you yet. Oh. I want to use second wind. That's hostile. Okay. E10 plus my level. Okay. Level six, right? Yes. Nice. Alright. Come back to the points and I go, that thing hugged me! Gross! <laughs> um, okay. Dead you guys just see a very cranky crawl emerge from the water, tentacles lashing out, and he just Bleh! spits on the ground and somehow heals a little bit using elven shenanigans. Peter, it is your turn. One of the elven herbs and spices. Um, you are currently being grappled. So okay. we'll actually have you closer then, since it grabbed you up. Oop, not there. One more. It's got you. Oh, perfect. All right. Um. Okay. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Uh, just a little checking 15 foot cube I can get that other octopus in that right yes, yes. so yeah <clears throat> gonna cast doesn't thunder wave push them it mm. does why don't you stand there and do it he is grappled he don't have a choice oh okay he's totally screwing up what I'm gonna do it's okay. You screwed up enough of what I was trying to do anyway. Uh, okay, so... so DC 16 for 7 Thunder. Here pulls thunder! His... <laughs> he slams his staff on the ground and waves of thunder come out from it. And I would Not go... sure past! I would move to like angle them better, but I don't think I could. You can't move. No, you're grappled. Your speed is zero. Mm. Only bad part is if you push them, you go with them. Let me just see the spell description here. Come on, roll 20. <laughs> Decided to freeze up on me. Come on. 
<clears throat> okay, there. Damn. Crit fumble. Twelve, fourteen. So they both fail the save. And push ten feet away. It would be funny if, with the, um, crit fail on 12 instead of, uh, 10 feet, he gets pushed 20 feet and pulls Peter even further in. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so they're pushed 10 feet away. Um, I don't think I can do anything for my bonus action. So I think that's it. Alright. 10 feet. bastard are you putting me in there you're not <laughs> yeah and you're not actually in the thing you, Why you the just hell happened did they move diagonally? because they moved in the same direction that peter is facing Boo. Why won't you that would have been funny if you would have blown yourself into the hadar <laughs> <laughs> All right, it won't let me grab that token. Oh, you know what? That token might already be down. Anything else, Peter? You said no? Nope, that's it. All right, Nibs, what are you going to do? I'm going to move there. And cast Eldritch Blast. Uh, the one grappling uh, Peter. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> AC 13. That hits. And pushes Octopus and Peter. Yeah, I'm going to push it 10 feet. Very good. I'm also going to reduce its movement by 10 feet per round. Make sure Peter stays right in that hood R. Mmm, gross. There we go, 10 feet. When you enter it, or at the beginning of turns? It's start turn, you take the six, uh, in turn, make the deck save to avoid more. And now I'm going to shoot it again, but this time I'm not going to push it. Okay. Actually, I want to help Ricky out. I'm going to blast Ricky's. Cool, cool. AC 22 for 9. That definitely hits. And I'm going to push it 10 feet to get, get Ricky some space. I don't know if it's going to be enough space for him to do any, take advantage of, but I'll give him a little bit of space. Get off my map! All right, anything else? Uh, I'm done. And then it moves there. Oh, is it Levna nearby? It does. It's going to try to grab Levna. That's a crit 25. Uh, oh, shit. For 15 damage, Levna is grappled. And. Yeah, 
that's basically it. Put her there. Because she's now stuck with it. It's her turn. Um, it hasn't, like, moved yet, so she's going to try to stab it. Oh, that's no good. It's only a 9. And no pack tactics or anything else there to help her. Wait, wait, extra attack. Yes, she does get two attacks. Uh, 13 will hit. And that'll do 12 slashing damage to that octopus. It's like, where the... How the hell do these things end up in the middle of a fucking desert? <laughs> Bannon, it is your turn. Um, so Tassie would be probably trying to escape. Is, we'll have Tassie do uh, the uh, uh, acrobatics or athletics, whichever one's better. Oh, dang. Nice. Kill them. Let's I am see. going to Squire of Salamnia, and I take it we're underwater, right? Yes. Okay. Squire of Salamnia, that way it takes what my disadvantage away. I just have a straight shot. Okay. And Tassie does escape the tentacles. Son Bitch. If we were above water. Yeah, but a 16 still hits. I don't know. For 13 damage. And you kill that octopus as it as it, as Tassie frees herself from its grasp. This would be with disadvantage. Yep, and keep in mind, like, Tassie's speed, yeah. This would be halved, but you're good. 18 for 9 damage. Okay, and that does. And then Tassie's going to continue trying to go out of the I was trying to get her here. Tassie is like nope, nope, and uses her last five you know, his, her last, because she has 40. Right. So, the last bit to go there. And I attacked attack. I am done. Oops. My fault. So four, then 12. Take six. Hang well, on. It's, it's technically still four. Why the heck aren't you? He's just trying to backtrack it instead of just attacking with four. Yeah, it won't go, whatever. All right, four. We'll try to attack. We'll try to grab Bannon. Uh, Fifteen misses. Uh, it's gonna bonus action and release a twenty-foot radius ink cloud um, that extends Whoa. all around the octopus. So. Uh, Bannon, you're in it. This other octopus is in it. Um, the area is now heavily obscured there in the water. And... It's already going at disadvantage anyway, so... This one begins... Let's see... Well, technically... Right question. Yes. 
Okay, underwater things, you know, uh, certain things like spears and stuff like that don't have disadvantage, right? There's certain weapons that function normally underwater and some that don't. Well, it don't really matter because it, it works out that really spears and anything. it works out that tridents and nets are like the best things to use underwater. All right, that one just bolts, and then it is going to be somewhere. Oh, that's right. All ranged attacks are at disadvantage when done underwater, except for tridents and nets. There he is. And then I'm trying to remember the 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 melee rolls. All right, so he takes six. And is going to continue moving away with Peter in tow. Difficult train and its movement is reduced by 10 feet. So there's 10. Would I have gotten a reaction even though I couldn't see it? 20. No. A reaction to what? To him leaving my... Uh... Oh, it got the, um, hmm, I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't see why you couldn't get a, um, it's going to be a disadvantage anyway, but, right, <laughs> so at disadvantage 23 for regular, it'll be 23, so 12 points, okay, Here's all the good rolls. Right when we needed them. Uh, don't do that. You guys remember that time Ron tried to drag me into water and murder my character? <clears throat> yeah, it's happening to me. <laughs> and then he also tried to drag Bannon, who's still suffering from the loss of his brother, and his dog into the water and kill them because Ron's merciless. Lewis, remember the time I grabbed you with a crab and ran off with you? Yeah. Alright, so your damage has been noted as that one ran away. This one got the 20 feet, and now it can move another uh, 30. Uh, no, 15. <sighs> there. <clears throat> Maybe. See, and it's funny. He did his movement, but he's leaving his arm extended, leaving Peter in the middle of it. <laughs> I would question the intelligence of these octopus. If they did that, I would not. They're octopus. They can open jars and solve puzzles. All right. That one's dragging Peter away. I would I would argue that I know I that some octopus are smarter than people. I would not be surprised. I've met people before. You can tell me rocks are smarter. Than they people. they yeah. they, a they asked why they cannot make a bear proof trash can at Yellowstone, and one of the people that worked at the national parks answered, because there is significant overlap between the, the smartest bears and the dumbest people. Yeah. I've heard that's that a one. That's a bear. Octopus are known to be smarter than bears. I could tell you heard that before because I heard you snickering. Mm. Not that long ago either. It was... <clears throat> well, okay, so that one's running away. Crawl, what are you doing? I'm gonna shoot the one near me. Cause that little mother effer has a crush on me. <laughs> oh, right now it's got a crush on Levna. Well, I'm gonna summon. Oh yeah, it's got a, it's got a crush on Levna. So, it, oh, it's got multiple twinkles. I don't want to move. And I'm gonna do 25 damage to it. Oh wow! Yeah, you are. 
I go, don't worry, Levna. You're not my gnome, but I got your back. Thanks, I think? I'm not going to let that thing hit you more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I have to buy Ricky some uns unspiration real quick. <laughs> <coughs> Um, all right, that's, uh, anything else, Crawl? Nope. Does it stay alive? I hit it pretty hard. Yeah, it's still alive. Well, damn it. All right. So then, Peter, you've been drug underwater. Yeah, and I don't think I can see. <laughs> no, you're in an ink cloud right now, too. You just know that you're being uh, restrained by this octopus, and it's taking you... You have no idea where. I will tell you, you know that these canyons can be hundreds of feet deep. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, going to try to drown me. Yeah, I wish I had that spell. It would be fantastic. Um, you don't have Misty Step or Thunder Step or any of that stuff? No, I've been taking, like, other stuff. <laughs> always, to... always, always take a spell that gets you the fuck out of there. Always take a step spell. No. Always take the spells that cause fire damage. Which would be really handy right now, given that he's underwater. It is shocking grasp. Hmm. I'm going to make it hurt to hold me. <laughs> okay. So make uh, make your attack roll. Now, I know this says you get advantage if they're wearing armor made of metal, but we're underwater. Can I, can I still get advantage from that? I'm Googling it right now. I believe there's a chance he could be doing double damage. But also with him attached to him in water, he would also possibly take damage. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think so. Here we go. Bullet point version of the underwater rules coming up. Um, all right, so I guess I'll make a spell attack. Which, do I add anything to a spell attack? I don't think so. Okay. On the 15. Well, you would get to add your spell attack bonus wait which but do i do a spell attack yeah you do it you have a, I a spell attack. like on your Sorry, it, it, on your tokens even you should have shocking grasp version. yeah you should be able to just click shocking oh. grasp under your attacks i don't All know right. why you're rolling d20 what are you doing yeah you've got is this like your first day you, you've got shocking grasp as a, a as a token action you can just click that listen it's my first day doing this in a whole week. It's been a long ass week. Hey, look at it this way. Today is the best Friday you'll have all week. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you have the fifteen. Um And then 15 spell hits. damage. My fucking thing that doesn't ever do spell damage for some reason. <clears throat> Well, it's you know, yeah, we have because to update are it. you um, fucking kidding you get 2D8. me? Two D eight. Well, that that just went. He cannot one. possibly get a one on two D eight, so his thing's all fucked up. Yeah, you, you, just, need to roll, right? you, you? just need to roll a one D eight. Just roll one D eight. I have tried fixing it, and it won't let me. What the hell? All Can right, you see. give me access to his character sheet? I'll fix it for one. Like, I, I did the little gear thing, 
and like change the damage to 2d8, but it never does it. You shouldn't have to on Chalk and Grass. It should auto level with your character. Well, we're talking about the token actions up top. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have to fix well, that because it's, it's. That's why I don't use those stupid things. <laughs> yeah, cast from your character sheet and it should be right. I know what well, there, Ron. Did. There we fucking go. See, I Jeez. know what Ron. I know what Ron did. Ron did that, and then he pushed up in chat to get the the macro. No, I didn't. And, oh. No, I used token action maker. But anyhow. Well, that's even worse. Nibs. Because I said so. Mm hmm. Anything else, Peter? No. Okay. So let me mark off. That. Can I see this one? Nah, they're underwater. So you can make a perception check to see if you can see that. Me and this octopus, we're in the ink cloud. Yeah, that's true. It's heavily obscured, so you can't you can't see in there, unfortunately. How long does ink cloud last? No, I got a 19. I jumped to the moon. Mm. <laughs> the ink cloud lasts. Here, I'll just again it lasts for a minute so 10 rounds yeah oh, so peter's making a new character gotcha i got lots of health um i thought i was gonna get a new character this is stupid <laughs> <laughs> you say that like it's a reward hey i've got dnd adhd all right anything else peter no that's it okay nibs it's your turn so the answer is I cannot see despite the roll. Correct. Correct. The roll had, shouldn't have allowed the roll. Okay. Forgot about Hidden Cloud. Yeah. I think well, Bannon would have seen me at least before the I mean, Hidden Cloud. Well, yeah, but that was when you were over here. True. Like you, when you're still in in the the shit over there. Mm. Trying to think if I have shenanigans to help him anyway. You can see Levna is being attacked by this one. Yeah, but I also know he needs help more. Yeah, that one's. I mean, I did just see him get drug off. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can help him. Because I wouldn't... I think I've got Thunderstep, and I can Thunderstep in there, but I would be out of spell slots and can't get back out. Mm. I think Not I'll that I fine. would know where I'm going anyway. Mm -hmm. The Thunderstep right now would make an awesome cannonball into the water. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. He's not wrong. So I'm going to Eldritch Blast that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, you are. AC 26 for 5. Um, it's still up. Which is minimum damage. It's still I up. got minimum damage. What do you want me to tell you? I rolled two ones on my damage. Oh, boy. And then he's going to take another Eldred Voss. That'll AC do 20. It. There you go. So that... And I'm going to drop concentration on the spell. Which, by the way, for the record, I was going to drop concentration on the spell before it was Peter's turn. So he was safe. I wouldn't have done that to him. I would kill Peter. Uh, I get temporary hit points. No, Peter. Christmas fucking modifier fire post four lock level. Yep, there you go. So I gain nine temporary hit points. I think I'll make a rogue next. All right, anything else, Nibs? No, I'm done. 
Alright, that, that one. Oh, uh, that's so cool. These octopi were like, we're gonna get some food. Oh shit, what's going on? <laughs> I think I want my next character to this be a paladin. This one tastes like lightning. Not a halfling, though. Um, where did it go? <laughs> okay, so then that means it's Levna's turn, but now she doesn't really know what to do. It's like, what the hell? Where that? Where? Where's the little one? Ah, uh, Peter! Peter! She just starts yelling Lev out. Yeah, Levna, just hit your. Oh, it's dead. Uh, Bannon, it is your turn. Okay, let me come up this way. Get out of the water. Look <laughs> around, trying to see. Can't see what Peter. So then, oh, there it is. since since we can't see Peter, Tassie's going to grab this tentacle, and we're going to pull it out of the water. Okay. So we'll go to there, so he'll be... Jar. All right. And then... I, I've got it on the map layer, so I'm not going to move it. Okay, fine. <laughs> I keep forgetting to use my superiority dice, damn it. Here, I'll move it. Well, if you don't use them, they're inferior dice. I agree. Okay. Anything else, Bannon? Mm, no. Right. Don't die, Peter. Don't die, Peter. So this one is just, it's got Peter in a grapple. It's trying to swim further away. Um, Fight him! Oh, sorry. Playing for the wrong king. <laughs> I dare you to fight me. Come on. And it's going to dash as it swims down underwater. Actually, I don't even have to go that far because it's going to be going down also. Um, actually, on that note, it probably would have just gone down from there. All right. Whoop, we're going down. Uh, Kroll, it is your turn. Let's start thinking about how to make new friends as we know that Peter's gone. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not... I mean, I guess... Oh, where was I? I was here. Thirty-five. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good Forty. Point. Thirty-five. Forty-five. How could you use? Fifty-five. That's about as far as I can go. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm on top of the water. No, you're fine. How are you on top Thank of the you, water? I'm um, okay. Maybe you misunderstanding my words. I'm not underwater. He's I'm still breathing. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're swimming. Okay. He's breathing the human air outside, not the water underneath. All right, um, Peter. It is your turn. Um, All right. Before you go, oh. I I have to retcon something here. Because you are underwater, you would not be able to cast any spells that require a verbal component. Oh, I didn't think about that. Shit. So, so you're so. retconning the whole two Shit. points. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. Uh, I did I did that backwards. But uh and also like I he would... can cast a spell underwater. But immediately after casting the spell, he immediately runs out of breath and begins drowning. I would not have done that then. <clears throat> Mm. Yep. And mind you, the drowning rules in 5e is ridiculous. It takes like 25 rounds to drown. Yeah. 
You can. I, I believe it's you can hold your breath equal to a number of minutes equal to your constitution score. It may be your constitution modifier. I think it's the modifier. Yeah. And then at that point, you begin to drown. But to escape the grapple, you have to make an acrobatics or athletics check. I was going to do that with the Or, yeah, you could try to stab him or... I will make an acrobatics check. Oh, nice. That is nice. It will make an athletics check to try and keep you in its grasp. And that is a 12. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how many feet is he underwater? Um, it went straight down. You were like... Like... Here, I'm gonna... And go Did you see how sad Ron was when his character got out of the grapple? So you're <laughs> we're 50 feet down. Okay. Um, I'm just going to start swimming into the ink cloud. Okay. So he's swimming 12 feet up. All right. Anything else, Peter? Uh, nope. Nibs, what are you doing? I don't know if there's anything Nibs can do. Ooh, I know what he can do. Start cooking the calamari. <laughs> I'm going to move up and use shape water to try to disperse this fucking ink cloud. I'll change the flow of water so it moves to the left to get the ink cloud over there. Okay. That way we can at least see the guy. So, yeah, and, well... It's still because it's it's pretty it's moving water so it's still like rough to see but you can yeah I don't I don't think you would be able to see quite because it's he's deep I know but, but it's Nibs is he's got to be in the ink cloud and get the fucking cloud out of the way so he's trying to help in a in an ineffective way because he doesn't know where Peter is it does help. You know, I'm trying to play the character and not the situation. Okay, and anything else? No, that's going to be it. You can change the water's color or opacity. All right. Let yeah, but I can change the water's color, but I can't change the color of the ink that's making the water black. Le Levna kind of, like, paces nervously on the shore. Like, she's, she's thinking about jumping in, but wearing that armor, she's definitely having second thoughts but at least she gets down to the bottom first that's very true Bannon it is your go starts cooking up that octopus <laughs> yeah I'm gonna get, get some of this wood that's here and try to make some fire to cook some octopus <laughs> while Peter is like drowning as far as you know I mean, I don't know where he's at. He could be, you know, 200 feet away. I mean, uh, I can do it this time. What the hell are you doing? Peter's in there drowning. Is the octopus. Will it, uh, yeah, you're within its threat range. Does a 14 hit, Peter? It does not. Okay, so it tries to grab at you with its tentacles again, but that's it. And then it is uh, Crawl's turn. And Crawl, you're like kind of you're swimming down trying to find Peter. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I, I do. I have. Did I see where they went down at? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're about where they were. But I'm just going to take a deep breath and head uh, 30 feet down using my double action. All right. And as you get down there, you can see that Peter is free from the octopus and that the octopus has moved away. Or Peter, or or at the very least, Peter has gotten a pretty good distance Some away distance from it. Some distance between him and the octopus. But then, Peter, it's your turn. You're going to keep swimming. You're yep. Gonna basically, dash a, on up. You keep on. You keep going up. You keep going up. And yep. what's yep. what's going to end up happening is the octopus. Uh, making that last attack um, is f fled afterwards. Peter is able to get back to the surface. He he uh, you, meets with Kroll partway through, and Kroll helps uh, get Peter up to the surface. And he spits out some water and whatnot, but you guys are able to climb out and onto the dry part dry er part and the threat has been eliminated <coughs> uh, thank you Kroll <laughs> yeah wet, wet halfling is no good I, I don't know how to feel about that <laughs> just give us a few more minutes the octopus is almost done all right, so I think it's time we move away from the water and have a snack. Yeah, I second that notion. I'm making the snack. All right, you guys are gonna go take a short rest. That's Nibs's plan. All right, so yep, yep. while we take, they a... don't always listen to Nibs's plans, but that's Nibs's plan. Oh, Le Levna, Levna agrees with the. She's like, yeah, I agree with this halfling for once. Um, I mean, what time of day is it? It's um, we would say it's pr it's afternoon. You've been traveling for a while. I can't wait until I get my uh, action surge back on a short. You can get your action surge back on a short rest now. Oh, do I? Yeah, you always get action sort of back on a short rest. The second level fighter gets it back on a short rest. Let's, let's right. fight some more octopi. All right. Well, <laughs> we're going to take a short break, so don't go anywhere, guildies. Lewis? After these messages, we'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Thanks for hanging out while we took a short break there. Ricky's still on break. So hopefully he'll be back. Possibly. Possibly. So, um, yeah, we just had an encounter with the wash slash a bunch of giant octopuses, octopi. I'm not, I'm octopi. octopi. And yeah, uh, got through that. You guys are all safe up on dry land once once again. Pay no cooking some calamari. Cooking some calamari. And I'm trying to dry off and get all that ink off of me. Peter's doing blackface right now. It's very racist of him. That's terrible. That's very terrible. We do not condone. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Wait a sec. Okay, never mind. It's just the background music's quiet. For a second there, I didn't think uh, it was picking up the desktop. Okay. <clears throat> Because, yeah, I should be able to hear everyone just fine. Excellent. All right. So you guys are able to take a short rest. <clears throat> Recover some spells. Uh, yeah, I think you have, what is that, Arcane Recovery? Yep, yep. I'm going to recover some spells. Uh, you just regain your spent spell slots, correct? That's called pack magic. Okay. Mm. But that is indeed how that works. Second wind. Do you get that back on a short rest or is that? Yeah, you get your second wind back on a short rest. Nice. I'm almost positive. So these washes, they come in like from the ocean, right? Yes. Okay. And the, the water was very salty. Oh yeah, I would have been able to tell. <laughs> Missy. It's a far way for octopi to be <clears throat> washed in sh inland, but makes sense. Well, keep in mind, like how rapidly these waters rise. They, when the wash comes in, the water rises at like basically hundreds of feet per w within a round. Like, uh, let me let me find the thing. Into, I think this is it, into the wastes. Yeah, so. Oh, the walls are typically. Oh, okay. The, yeah, the wall... second wind and action surge or short rest. Mm. But, um. So the, wa the water rises up, uh. 10 feet, then 20 feet. So, 20 feet in 6 seconds. Wow. So that's how quickly the water rises. So, like, if you guys were actually caught in a flood on initiative counts 10 and 0, the water ri level rises by 10 feet up to the height of the canyon and travels at 100 feet horizontally. So it rushes in while it fills. Mm hmm all around just a fun time yeah I mean it would be if you guys ever got stuck in it I mean <laughs> it's fine 
But yeah, and so I guess uh, I should probably move back to the the overland map so we can kind of see where we're at. I Here I was worried about crawl initially. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, damn, am I going to be able to get over to him? Oh no, now I'm in the water. <laughs> so worried about somebody else and you didn't save yourself. Hmm. I know, I should learn better. Sure this... Okay. There. So you're moving four hexes per day? Yes. Yep, yep. <clears throat> So actually, we're going to put you right here for the time being. So, um, okay, three. So you'd be able to, to move one more hex today before exhaustion. You can go one more north, but that's about where you are. I'm back. Hey, Ricky's back. Oh, hello. We're just eating some calamari. Yep. Are we just live? We are live. Yep. And then I won't. I won't explain everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, on the overland map, I have the party marker moved to about where uh, you guys have gotten to. You can move one more hex today. I forgot to advance. I guess you would have had to have left the next morning. You guys keep traveling. I feel pretty urgent that we should get to the prisoners. For some reason, it's bothering me. Okay, so you guys will get to go up another hex. About to rest a little bit, ready to go. And you're able to travel for the rest of the day. And that puts you at this spot there. Uh, a hex, two hexes, a hex or so away from the E location. Wake and rest. Um, and do your your watches. Yeah, I remember I take the middle of the night where it's the darkest. <coughs> because I'm an elf and I don't really have to sleep the whole time. I'll take first watch. Okay, so go ahead. Everybody do... Well, we'll start with Nibs first. Do a perception check. And then, uh, what, Peter takes second watch? Sure. Nib seems to have his moment with his lover. <laughs> All right, so Nib's perception, please. All right. You're good, Peter. Do a perception. Hold on. Oh, that's good, because I was going to do something before you, uh, told me the result. I mean, you got a 15, that's good. I just, I rolled mine early. I don't know when River Rob's going to do his, but I, I rolled mine. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to do it for something. Uh, did I have love in the sheet? Of course I didn't have love in the sheet open. I can do two different watches since, you know, elf. Nah, you don't need to. Hey, 
You got enough people. <clears throat> Nope, never mind. I thought it loaded. <laughs> Still loading. There it is. Eleven I got. Ooh, she got an eleven. That's fine. Been good. So you guys get through the night, no problem. Oop. Following darling, darling. And you're going to be able to travel. Two, three. And While we're walking. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, while we're walking. Uh, Peter is going to ask Kroll, so what, what brought you to Calaman when we first met you? Well, I was spending time with my elders and we felt that there was, a gr I'm just giving you some crap. No, the same people that had come into the town and assaulted you guys had traveled through and destroyed almost all of my village. I'm one of the very few survivors and I wanted vengeance. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can imagine that. And come to find out they're part of some bigger dragon army. Not enough to take vengeance against this other army. Mm. We got Missy here tonight. We, we had pretty much the same thing yeah. happen with us, but like the town we were visiting. We're fortunate to. I think we saved everybody. Did we? You saved All most the of the people there. We had a couple hundred people in my in my village before. Now we have maybe ten. Damn. I'm um, sorry to hear that. It's okay. I'll uh, I'll kill I'll kill a number more than I'll kill a multiplier high. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Oh, Nothing like bonded over murder. I think my <laughs> picture moved. And you, you and your okay. uh, folks are welcome with our village, our makeshift Vogler at Calman. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's pretty much all Peter wanted to say. I, I, I'm excited for it, and that might be a thing where we end up moving our people back once we play, because this campaign's going to eventually end. Mm. And I'm going to bully Ron into keep DMing. <laughs> well, before you can do that, um, as you're, as you're continuing traveling this day, so you guys would have all gotten your long rest, and you guys can all be back at full. Um, I mean, I was I was a full man, so yes. And we're getting close to our quitting time, but uh, I do want to say that, like, we we you have been traveling for you know the better part of this day. You're getting to the point where it's time to wrap it up. And as you uh, make your way through the downtown, make your way. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> we, we just did a band. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> um, but as you are making your way, you come across. The telltale signs of Dragon Army activity. Oh, already. Is that just, is that just like, uh, when you say telltale signs, I want some detail. Well, detail. 
I would I would love to give you more detail, but like I said, we are we are going to be ending here soon, and I don't want to get started with something that we're not going to have time to finish. We're we're desperately out of time, folks. The tape machines are rolling. Are they dragon tails? Dragon tails. <laughs> But, you know, as you are coming uh, along the... Um, yeah, as you, as you are passing through, you are seeing um, the discarded, uh, like, abandoned, that's the word I'm looking for, like, abandoned campsites and just general uh, evidence of dragon army activity in the area. Like the, the typical red and black tents that you've been seeing, just you know, there'll be like, you know, a few left behind at various campsites and stuff. And you, you're coming up on one of, one of these such campsites this evening. But yes, so that is where we're going to go ahead and wrap this up for tonight. Oh, good. We could ambush somebody next session. Mm. I definitely could. <clears throat> <laughs> so I do think I'm going to go rogue for my next character when Ron kills me again. I'm thinking about doing Paladin and doing like your idea with the ticks. Stand back, citizens. I shall take care of this. Little wooden boy. How does it look to the east? <laughs> that cartoon is top five cartoon for a year. Which I never watched that cartoon, so. Okay, <laughs> so. We are going to write it out. Uh, just effectively, you imagine the neighbor's voice from Family Guy saying really redundant hero sayings. Hello, Peter. That guy? Cleveland? No, the cop, the handicapped oh, cop. Oh, Joe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're gonna raid out. And don't. So don't go anywhere just yet. Be sure to join us on Sunday for the Squared Circle. As we continue our inaugural Chaotic Championship Wrestling Tournament for the. World heavyweight title holder of the world. He's very bad at this. I am. I am. All right, man, Should I, I do it? Come on down with us on Sunday. You're going to watch a bunch of people just start taking names and kicking asses, and we don't really care about names down at that chaotic wrestling championship. What you're going to watch is you're going to watch some people coming off the top rope. You might see some people coming out from underneath the ring. You don't know. You just need to get your ass down there, pay your ticket fee, and watch it. <laughs> So that's Sunday. Uh, join us on Monday for Defenders of the Veil and come back next Friday for more Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Until next time, everyone, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I'm DM Ron. Um, we got the rest of the crew here. Everyone say good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night, everybody. I'm not saying it. All right. That's, you know what? <laughs> Fine. Has, Fine. Has Lewis heard my road dog yet? I, I don't know, but... Thanks, everyone. We love you. Good night.